What? Red chain! It crumbled away to nothing? But why? Why would Mesprit, the Pokemon of Lake Verity, appear by your side? But never mind that, it's all destroyed! My galaxy is gone! I won't allow this. I will capture those three again and craft another red chain. But before I even think about that, I'm going to completely crush you! And here we are, the final confrontation against Cyrus. Take four, by the way. With his dreams of a new galaxy completely destroyed, the only thing in his mind is revenge. Is he going to get it? Let's see. <laughs> He's gonna open up with Honchgrow. Dark and flying type, can be a little bulky. Hits decently tough. Decently hard. Grammar. Nice, it did a good amount of damage. Ooh, he's gonna use Embargo. Now well, we can't use items on 99. And he uses a Super Potion for some odd reason, like at that point. Maybe because Super Potions don't heal that much. As far as healing item goes, I've seen him use a Super Potion and one full restore, so... I don't know what his deal is, it's a really weird setup. See what he's got. Drill pack. I'm just trying to fly, see how much it'll do. It's comparable to Shockwave at least. Yay! Critical hit! That was a really ugly yay. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of early in the morning. 99 to level 43. I can't wait till he turns level 49. I mean, 99. Ooh, he's going in for Weavile next. This is his beast, so to speak. Or at least I like to say it's his beast. It's the Evolution of Sneasel, which is Dark and Ice type, so... I don't think our Rock Smash is going to do it anymore, so I'm going to go for a close combat. Pretty cool, huh? It's level 48, and it's male, so it's little uh, red... You know plume on top is longer than if it was a female. No, I don't think it's the plume that's longer. I think it's the little uh, ear things are shorter. Hell, I don't know. I never pay attention to these. <laughs> Come on. Yeah! Yeah! Two crits! That was overkill, though. A close combat would have done it for sure. I need a ton of experience for taking it out. Anyway, he's gonna send in Gyarados next, so we're gonna send 99 back in. Since hell, a quad. It's quite a week to Shockwave. Gyarados is kind of the reason I put Shockwave on 99. Intimidate? We ain't gonna use no physical attack. Now, I know this thing's packing Ice Fang and Aqua Tail. I don't know if why well, I even know it has other moves, but I don't know what they are. Because <laughs> I never see him use them. Come on, how much is Shockwave gonna do? Nice. Nice! Not OH MY GOD! Three crits in a row! That's ridiculous, I love it! Crobat? Oh my god, this is the best run I've had against this guy! The first time I did it, I just got him down to his Crobat, and then, you know, he took all my team out, but... Hell, we've got this! Well, no, we don't have it yet. Crobat is super fast. It's got 130 base speed. And Cross Poison has a high critical hit, right? So let's just try to drop its special defense and make it easier for someone like Luminae to come in. Oh yeah, Air Slash 2. That thing has a chance to make you flinch. 
We don't have this one yet. We, uh... Yeah, this is how it's gonna go, isn't it? No, we're not. More cross poison. We still resist it. Come on, drop its special defense. That would just be the bee's knees. Oh, it's possible, Cyrus. It's very possible. In fact, why am I gonna lose now? 99 has just been a beast in this LP. I didn't expect it to do so much good work. It's also got bite. It's got two flinching moves. That's pretty weird. Ow. Just keeps going for cross poison, even though bite is the far superior option. It's got that flinch chance. The first time that happened, I was hoping it was just going to be a super potion. I got so lucky in this fight. Those crits really helped. I don't think I could have done it without those crits. I need another max potion. I just can't seem to drop its special defense. I need to do that. I mean, he's not going to heal Crobat anymore, but... I don't know if anything else can survive, or maybe this is the perfect chance for Luminate's Brine to finally do something. Hell, that's what I'm gonna try to do. I can't even send in Ferretti, because really, all of Crobat's best options uh, one hit KO her. There's Confuse Ray. Now we've seen its entire move. It's got Confuse Ray, holy shit, I might lose this still. Come on. Come on. Yeah! Come on, let's finish this with a crit. Wouldn't that be amazing? Nah, that's fine. Alright, I want to bring in Lumine. I want to bring in Lumine. I want Brian to do something in this LP. 99, I actually want you to hit yourself. Yay! Or maybe not yet. I've got a max revive. Oh, hey, I'm still alive. Not gonna be after this, but... Finally got me with that cross poison, Cyrus. Hey! You got a crit. <laughs> Alright, I want Brian to do something in this LP. I said it's gonna do something, it's something... Come on, Lumine. Show me what you got! Brian! And Confuse Ray. Come on, hit through the confusion, Lumine. You can't survive much of another hit, so... Come on. Come on. Yes! Yes! Yeah! <laughs> I told you Brian was gonna do it! Lumine have a well-deserved level up. Its speed went up by four. Jeez! And we defeated Galactic Boss Cyrus. I wanna set this. The power spoken of mythology. I didn't just make it obey me, I made it my own! What is truly the ultimate to you? What do you consider perfection? The most beautiful thing? The joy that shines the brightest? Telling you is meaningless. But I won't give up. I will become a deity one day. And I will make the ultimate mine. Ryan couldn't even come up here to say hi to us? Oops, did not mean to use options. Let's just save real quick. Alright. Who am I gonna send out first? Lumine.
and here we go. The legendary Pokemon of Pokemon Pearl, the master of space and dimensions. Penis Neck! I mean, Palkia. This thing is Water and Dragon and has a surprisingly high catch rate. We're gonna use Sunny Day. Its special move is Spatial Rat, 100 base power, 95 accuracy, and a high crit rate. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> 1 HP. That wasn't a crit either. First off, Palkia is level 47, which is kinda weird. Being water and dragon, it quad resists water and fire. It actually has a lot of resistances. The only thing it's weak to is dragon. Of course we're going to use the next Pokemon. I do intend to catch it. You're mine. I don't want to use close combat. I think that's a bad idea, so I'm going to use Aerial Ace. Unless I die to Spatial Rend. I don't want to chuck my Master Ball at this thing. I'm not going to chuck my Master Ball at this thing. There's so much else we can use that on. I feel like a close combat from Comic Fire isn't going to kill it, though. Or even do half. Survive that comic fire, you've taken worse. Or not, apparently. Okay, this is going wonderfully. Oh, Spatial Ren is also dragon type, so I don't want to send in Tater Tot. Alright, let's just start chucking Ultra Balls at it. I bought some Ultra Balls. I'm gonna toss my Master Ball at it. <laughs> oh, it's only using Ancient Power. We can take an Ancient Power. Can we? Yeah, we can take an Ancient Power. Come on, Ultra Ball. Or not. Is that I just want to toss a Master Ball and make this ad? Oh, Dragon Claw. Survive? Yes, you do. Come on, Ultra Ball! We got this, come on! Yes? Oh. <sighs> well, Cyrus did give us a Master Ball. It's better used against two Pokemon in the post game. But. oh well. <laughs> Roaming legendaries aren't any fun if you don't just if you just chuck a master ball at them. So hell, you're mine, Palkia. And Palkia was caught. I'm not gonna use Palkia, of course. <laughs> Yay! It is said to live in a gap in a spatial dimension parallel to ours. It appears in mythology. Give a nickname to Palkia? Yep. And we never saw him again. I've never been thrilled like this. You had half your you had most of your team massacred and cheated with a master ball. Don't drag me here. <laughs> and 
here we have a Lustrous Orb. If you're playing Diamond and you fought the legendary Pokemon there, it'd be the, uh... I think it's the Adamant Orb. If you give it, let Palkia hold it, it boosts the power of water and Dragon-type moves. <clears throat> and see this little symbol right here? Keep that in mind for later, viewers. We're not done at Spear Pillar. We've still got a lot to do. Well, not a lot. But one super important thing to do. And anyway, we're out! So, while we're here, let's... <laughs> My entire team is massacred. Uh, we're gonna head to Celestic Town. And we're gonna heal up for sure. For shizzle bobs. Well, I'll be right back. Okay. We're gonna cover two things real quick. Since we have an extra four minutes and I don't really want to get to the next area quite yet. So, if we go into the big house right here. And read this scroll. Nope, not this scroll. I don't think we're supposed to be in this house for God's sakes. Come on, Adam, get it together. Here we go. Dialga, the guardian Pokemon of time. That's the Pokemon, uh, the legendary Pokemon for Pokemon Diamond. And since we saw it in, a, uh... Here's how the dex works, by the way. It sort of gathers momentum. And now we have Dialga in the decks here. Since you can't see it other than that, it's a good... You have to fill out your, uh... I never s Oh, jeepers. Uh, hold up a sec, then. Okay. Now that we're in Silesian Town, I do believe we go to this one? Yes, we do. And here are the Silesian Ruins. There's a Pokemon here that you can only find here. No trainer has it, and it's usually the one Pokemon that really catches people up when they're trying to complete their regional decks. You have to take the rooms in a certain order. That unknown scripture right there tells you how to do it. You have to go to the lower left. He's the only actual trainer here. Top right. Top left. Top left. And lower left. And yay, we've got four items! We get a nugget. We get a mind plate. Two beans of time and space set free from the original one. Plates. Spear pillar. Could they have something in common? A rare candy. And an odd incense. The incenses are used for breeding purposes. I'll explain them when I get into breeding. Friendship. All lives touch other lives to create something anew and alive. That means sex! <laughs> and now, as soon as uh, our repel wears out... There are other items in here, like elemental evolution stones, uh, a few other things. Can this... Okay, Repel's Effect wore off. And what Pokemon is it? Unknown! Woo! <laughs> there are 28 unknowns. One for each letter, and then one for a question mark, and one for, uh... Exclamation point. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Now that we've seen that, all the other Pokemon will be able to see normally. I think. Well, some of those trainers had something I didn't see, but oh well. Worst comes to worst, I'll just go back and find them. Either way, this is the end of the episode. I'll see you guys next time.